to keep on trucking my drive. Trucking your blues away. Keep on trucking my mind. Trucking till the break of day. You gotta get up in the morning, gotta get up late. You got down to the corner trying to get yourself a day. You gotta keep on trucking my mind. Trucking your blues away. Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to Surreal's Underground Comics of the Month. This month we're going to do Mickey Rat. Mickey Rat didn't start out as a comics character. He is actually drawn by Robert Armstrong to be on a t-shirt. He did well. He sold a lot of t-shirts. Mickey Rat's first appearance in comics was in December of 1971 in Los Angeles Comics No. 1. Uh, published by the Los Angeles Comic Book Company. Uh, it was drawn by Robert Armstrong and the story was by Chester C. Krill. It was called Mickey Rat, the King of Rotten Stuff. Uh, Mickey Rat's second appearance was actually in his own comic book. It was the following year in May of 1972. Mickey Rat number one, also published by the Los Angeles Comic Book Company. Stories again done by Chester C. Krill. Uh, a lot of other characters in there, supporting characters like uh, Ozzy and Lotta, and one of my favorites, Jumpin' Jimmy Jizz. Really like Jumpin' Jimmy Jizz. Uh, check out Yellow Dog for more of uh, Jimmy. Um, then in October of 1972, Robert Armstrong picked up and moved over to the Kitchen Sink Enterprises and they published Mickey Rat number two. Now Mickey Rat number two is actually in two editions. The first edition uh, was bound together, it was I would say misbound, all the stories, the pages were all out of order. Uh, they caught this only after several hundred had been printed and corrected it and the second edition was uh, printed a few days after that. So Actually, both editions say right there on the bottom of the inside cover, uh, what did this say? It says, first printing October uh, 1972. But the only way you can tell the difference is uh, the first one, the pages and stories are all out of order, and the second one, everything's in sequence. Uh, some time passed. Uh, Mickey Rat made a couple of other appearances uh, in Arcade the Comics Review number three. This was in... Fall of 1975, published by the Print Mint. He was in a story there where he becomes the janitor at a medical facility. Uh, he gets a little high and gets accidentally worked on with a little brain surgery. Funny story. He makes another appearance in Arcade, the comics review number six, in the summer of 1976 in the Print Mint. This is where Mickey Rat finds a wallet, buys a car, and blows this free flea bird. Then some time passed, and again, Robert Armstrong picked up everything and moved over to Last Gasp Echo Comics. And this time, Chester did not work on the storyline. This is all Robert Armstrong art, Robert Armstrong story, and they published Mickey Rat number three in July of 1980. And moving right along, in 1982, Last Gasp again published the last of the Mickey Rat series, Mickey Rat number four. And that's kind of it for Mickey Rat. We all like Mickey Rat. He's the character we would kind of like to be. And one of my uh, viewers submitted a suggestion that we should do a little segment. And so here is a little segment. This is called Inside Cherry Pop Tart. <laughs> and for those of you that didn't get the joke, we have this. Outside of a dog, a man's best friend is a book. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. <laughs> Keep on talking, mama, talking to you big up day. You gotta get up in the morning, gotta get up 
late to go down to the corner trying to get myself a day where you keep on tucking my mind. You be tucking my blues away. And if you can't stop doing what you do, 